Romans would take one of our mads. Macachavi, Mukabaro, and Rahan, Atara mads, you could get a baravin in Mubabaru, but Senaka, Agahima could get a river. Baraba, you only miss me, ever in Jacob Mazza come. Quahuns, a mads, to Pam Mushasha, Wakavid, to Hunze, to Razangaha, to Ruwa could Tumaze kuba kuduhema turabaho mugabo tubayeho nabi ubu twizeye imana gusa ko iyo shobora kudufasha hagi hari gihamazi yo subira inyuma cyanko leta ikatugarukira ko ikaturonsa aho handi hantu twuje kuba turaturaki ku musaye aho twoshima kabisa kuko byo bavyiza Comme on est dans un contexte de réchauffement global des océans de la planète, il est très probable que l'humidité de la planète en général augmente. Il y a un mouvement anormalement élevé de sédiments qui sont en train de se déposer là. Or, si ces sédiments se déposent là, évidemment, ils occupent un volume qui aurait dû être occupé par l'eau. Donc, l'eau augmente. I have four legs, Faringo. Largely, there are three, you know, theories or hypotheses towards this. The very first one has to do with um, the global or general uh, weather circulation patterns uh, caused by the rising, uh, you know, uh, levels of the sea surface temperatures in the Pacific Ocean as well as the Indian Ocean and the other global oceans. They cause a rise in rainfall, and this increases the water levels when they, they reach the lakes. The second one is largely um, a geographical or geological where um, the researchers say that there are tectonic shifts within the, the earth surface and this tends to shift the groundwater which uh, tends to force the rise in the lakes. Then the third one uh, is basically about uh, deforestation and sedimentation. So after the land is deforested, you know, to pave way for agriculture and other activities, you have a lot of sediments which you know get their way into the lakes and hence they, they, they reduce the you know the depth of the lake and therefore the water rises. So in Lake Tanganyika uh, reports are that um, the, the, the lake rises uh, have been reported around 2020. Uh, this was uh, between uh, 793 meters uh, to slightly above that. And this is something that had not been uh, witnessed since 2013. And it was largely uh, attributed to the rising, um, you know, uh, rainfall amounts within that, that region. So the future would likely be that um, if there are no mitigation uh, you know, measures put in place, we are likely to see uh, more damages to people due to the rises, particularly the displacement of people and also property. Uh, however, if uh, proper mitigation uh, are put in place, we are likely to be able to manage these rises.
Yeah, we are going to turn hammer. It's a good shot. The global solution is largely mitigation, which is highly linked to uh, trying to manage climate change uh, from the Paris Agreement, uh, if we can retain the, you know, the global average temperatures to below 1.5 degrees Celsius uh, within the next 10 or so years, then that would be a really good uh, you know, action towards uh, limiting the impact of lake level rises and other impacts of climate change.